Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and <clears throat> this is question number six now from the IGCSE Cambridge International Examination Paper 2 Extended from the May June 2020 session. Okay, this is variant two, this is paper two one. Um, and this question here is about this trapezium. They've given us a couple of angles in the trapezium and and they've asked us to find the value of x. So a trapezium is a quadrilateral, four-sided figure, which is special because it has one pair of sides which are parallel. So we can see those are the pair, those are the pair of sides which are parallel because of the markings on the lines. And these two angles, we can see, whenever we're dealing with angles, we've got to think about all the different rules that we know. We want to find the value of x here. These two angles are related to each other by the fact that these lines are parallel. And we've got to think about the rules that we know for parallel lines and angles. So we have corresponding angles which kind of like make F shapes with each other. You have alternate angles which make like a Z shape with each other. And then you have these kind of angles which are like called interior angles and they make like this kind of C shapes with each other. Okay. Now, with corresponding with the, with these angles which are interior, they are related by the fact that they, they they are supplementary. They add up to 180 degrees. For corresponding and for interior angles, they they are no, sorry corresponding and alternate angles. They are equal to each other. But for interior angles like this, their sum is 180 degrees. So these two angles will add up to 180 degrees. So that's how we can link those two angles with each other. So if you want to find the value of x, we can say 97 minus 3x plus 69 plus 5x must add up to 180 degrees because they are interior angles. You don't have to write the reasons here. They're not mentioned for you to do. But if you do, it's, it's always more complete. So now we can work out the value of x by solving this equation. So you have 97 plus 69. That's going to be 150 plus 16. That's going to be 166 minus 3x plus 5x, which is plus 2x is equal to 180 okay and then we can subtract 166 from both sides 180 minus 166 which is going to give you 14 so x is going to be equal to 7 and if you want to just make sure that you have not made a mistake you can just put 7 here so that's 97 minus 21 97 minus 21 is going to be 6 and that will be 76 and 69 plus five, time, 5 times 7, which is 35. And if you add them together, that gives you 14. And 10, 104 plus 76 is equal to 180. You can just make sure if you want to in the exam that you've got the right answer. Okay, so there we have the answer for question number 6. And of course, this, this addition, this subtraction and stuff, you can do in your calculator. If you don't feel confident, that's fine. All right, so there we have the answer to question number 6. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Now, I'm collating these questions according to topic as well as according to paper, so I'm making separate videos for every question. It's a bit cumbersome maybe for some of you, but this, it will uh, be beneficial for those who are revising to, uh, topic by topic. So I'm going to put them in one playlist for this paper and one playlist for the topic. So this will go into the playlist for this paper and into the playlist for angles. And I'll also put it in the playlist for uh, special quadrilaterals in geometry. So there we have the answer for this question. Other questions you might want to watch from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that, click, that you can click on over here. Other questions from this topic of geometry and angles you can find in this playlist over here. I might also put one here for special quadrilaterals if I have a playlist for that. We'll see. Thank you for watching and see you soon.